Hello and welcome to part four of uh, creating a customer testimonial page in Lectora. And now we are going to wrap up with adding our text boxes and the actions that will add the interactivity to this. So the first thing I did um, from last time was uh, put all my talk bubbles in a group and I've named them something a little different so I can understand where they're at. Um, I've kind of named them as if they were on an Excel spreadsheet grid so this one here is a1 this one here is b1 this is a2 this is b2 and so forth and once I add all my text boxes I will do the same so I have text a1 and text b1 um, so let's talk about how I made this text box you come up here add text block you get this by default now this is transparent once you start typing in here. The way I made it, the way it is there with the color is you can come up here to the text properties and the background color you can change change from transparent to something uh, custom like I did here and the way I got that color was I used the eyedropper and I came over here and clicked in my um, one of these text bubble uh, images hit OK and there we go it's that very light green and then you come over here to board, border and margin and I added a three pixel border changed it from default black to my color down here on my swatches and then this is kind of important for better readability I added a margin of six pixels so when I hit apply it makes it like that and then I also bumped up the text a little bit and made sure the size was gonna be good for what we're doing so with my text boxes created now all I need to do is add the actions to make it possible but first I'll note that another thing I did with the text boxes is I uncheck the initially visible um, option so then that when we preview this they don't show up initially because that's what we want we want them to show up when we click these and if they get in your way um, I put them in their own group of text boxes whoops somehow I doubled my groups and got a group in a group which is not what you usually see. Anyway, with my text boxes in a group, uh, I have the option to um, manipulate them easier. So let's go up here and first let me disable the, the visibility there. My first action that I want to add is I want to show the appropriate text box on mouse click. So my action will be and I'm going to name it so I understand what it is. On click show text. That's just how I name my actions because when you start to have a bunch of actions it can get confusing as to what's going on. Um, fortunately now Lectora does name them according to what they do but sometimes even that can start to get a little cryptic. So on mouse click action show and what do we want to show for the target? we want to show the text so since this is talk bubble a1 I want to show text a1 hit apply I'm gonna save it and when we preview that when I click my text box shows up I'm gonna copy that action paste it onto the next talk bubble here And I just change this from text A1 to text B1. So now that when we preview, both of these show up when we click. Now, in my original example, I only have one text showing up at a time. And the way I do that is we go back to our first button and I add an action before the show action 
And the way this works is we're in on mouse click, I'm going to hide the group of text boxes. So that any text that's currently open in my text group, when this action um, strikes, they'll all be hidden. I'm going to name that on click hide text group. And the cool thing about this is I can go ahead and copy it, and paste it onto all the other ones without having to change anything. So now when we preview, click on one, it shows the text, click on another, and it, and it hides before it shows the next text. So just with a couple of actions, we've added interactivity. And that's pretty much what I did. The only other thing I did on my example, this is my original example, the only other thing I did was I added another action onto the text boxes, each one, that says on click hide text group. So you have the option to hide it again by clicking on the text itself. And there you have it. There's your customer testimonial page. A little bit of interactivity with just a few actions. And thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something about how to create a page like this or something on your own in Lectora.